All right, so let's dive in and start editing our food photos. So you can see I've pulled up Lightroom Classic here, um, and this is important. There's two different versions of Lightroom. You can get both of them through Adobe's Creative Cloud subscription. And there's the uh, new version of Lightroom that's more oriented towards editing photos in the cloud. It syncs a little more seamlessly between your phone and uh, your desktop. And that's really the, the new one that Adobe is often pushing you towards. I like Lightroom Classic though for editing photos that come off of a traditional camera um, or if I'm editing photos from my phone as I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, I just prefer the interface and, uh, and on a professional standpoint, there's more I can do with this program. So uh, make sure you have the right version of Lightroom. Uh, again, it's Lightroom Classic. And uh, if you have Adobe Creative Cloud, you can download the uh, Classic Lightroom. They're still developing it. It's not uh, you know antiquated software or anything. It's just more oriented towards desktop editing, which for my professional workflow works better. And it'll give us some more options when it comes to the development here. Um, now what I've done is actually to import the food photos we're gonna work on from my Leica Q. Uh, to do that, all I did was file, import photos and video, and I selected my Leica Q uh, as the source there. Um, I don't want to uh, have you sit through you know, the process of it downloading all of those photos off of, my, uh, off of my camera, so I just did that in advance. But you can either import from the memory card on your, um, your camera, as I have done, or you can import from a folder on your computer. So if you've already saved uh, files you know, into the folder and you want to edit them, or if you're taking photos on your phone and you transfer them to your computer, um, you can then go into that folder and import them into Lightroom for editing. So it's very flexible. And um, one of the first things it's going to do when you do import those, uh, those images is it's going to create sort of a basic preview and version of that that's visible and something you can work with. And ideally what you want to do is um, work with raw formats. So if you're taking photos on a traditional camera, almost all of the cameras are gonna have an option to shoot in a raw format. That might be a dot raw, it might be a dot DNG, which is a digital negative, but that is gonna capture all of the data from the sensor on your camera. And it's gonna give you the maximum amount of data to work with. Now, if you just try to open one of those files on your computer, you might not be able to do it. Um, the raw format is just, again, all the data from your camera sensor. And um, if you import them into Lightroom though, it's gonna process that in a basic way, give you a preview of the photo. And since we have all that raw data to work with, we can do a lot of tweaks to exposure, colors, and that kind of thing, um, and, uh, and still have a lot of leeway and flexibility to make those changes to our image without um, you know, blowing out highlights or, uh, or ending up with something that's lower quality. Now, if you don't have the ability to, uh, to get raw files, you can still work with JPEGs uh, in, in Lightroom, but you just might have a little bit less flexibility than you would with the raw. So ideally, get the raw files off of your camera. If you're shooting on a phone, um, put your phone into professional mode. If you do that, you should be able to capture a raw file on the phone. And again, it's gonna give you the maximum amount of data to work with. So I've imported uh, from my like a queue, you can see my photos are in the .dng format, that digital negative, which is one of the raw formats that we can work with here in Lightroom. Um, it's created these previews of each of my images here from that raw format into a format we can work with. And they're all gonna be arrayed in this little carousel down at the bottom. So now I'm gonna switch over to the develop tab and we can get started on actually developing and working with these photos.